and today um, we are going to draw a dog. Um, it is a black hairless um, Mexican terrier. Um, so it might look like a bit like this, which I've already drawn, but it might be a bit more bigger. So all you need is some paper, a, a pencil, um, some a pen, um, and a rubber. You can pause the video or rewind it if I go too fast. So let's get started. So first, let's just draw a round circle for the base. I might just rub out a few things if I want to make it bigger. It doesn't matter if um, it's not perfect because it can be out of the lines. So there's my um, base head shape, which I'm going to do. So it's just going to be um, facing that direction and its tail is going to be up. Then let's just draw a snout. So we go in like that. Then we go a bit more further and back in again to do a curve facing shape. Then we're going to do just a round circle like this to make the neck. After this video, you might be able to do a dog. If you're not, you can keep practicing and I will try and do more videos. So then, just right on top of this line, you draw another circle like this. It's going to be the big breast in front. Then we go down and through to make a line like this on top. Then I'm just going to rub out the access if I don't need anything. Then after you've done that, as you can see, my if you don't want it as to be perfect, well you don't need it to be perfect because like Yours might be better than mine. So you can see I've done the shape of it, of the front body and the legs. Oh, now we're doing the legs. So we're going to do the back bit. We go down and up like that. We go down, across, up and down. So we form the front body shape like that. It's like a sausage dog because it has the big um, body. Then we're going to form the legs in a platform shape. So we're going to go down like that. And then we're going to form the paw a bit realistically. So we're going to do just a circle down there. Then all, draw the line all the way attaching to the front of the circle. Okay, now after we do that, we're just going to do a paw line here. all the way down there. Then we are going to form the front shape at the top here and just go down. So then I'm going up, forming the shape. Forming the shape of this body. Um, 
as you can see it's just leaning forward a bit I'm going to do a circle at the back here and also just to remind you if you want me to do another thing another drawing then maybe put it in the link or um, post it so we're going to now draw a back shape like this for its back leg then here we're just going to draw a circle like that a half circle ne right next to the um, form we're going to do all the way here, like nearly where the um, point back is. Then we're going to go down. So this bit is quite tricky to do the, the back legs because we want it to be exactly the same, so, um, exactly the same pace downwards on the. Um, feet as on the front legs I'm just going to do a line to form where they're going so as the other one the front paw we're just going to go down put a line down there with a circle then after you've done that we do last time form the shape of the paw and up like that so you can see it's just lift, raising its paw a bit more higher than it's supposed to be. We're just going to do a line there. And the buckle of the knee is going to go down slightly under like that. Looks sort of like a greyhound to me. Then we're just touching down like that. Then, we're just going to form the shape of the back legs that we're going to do. So, from this curve down, we're going to do a line that's forming a shape like that. Then, we're going to go down like this. It's going to be tucking down from the front, the back leg of the dog. We're going to do a circle right next to it. It's going to be littler because we're doing it at the back of the paw. Then we're going to go down like this, attaching to the circle, then up like that. Then, we're just going to attach this to a straight line across to attach it for its body. Then, we're going to perform the front leg structure, which is just going to be a line down there. We're going to do a little circle pointing there just next to the um, front circle just smaller then a downwards line connecting to the circle and then down then just our last step we're going to perform a little circle here for the tail, which is going to be hanging up right there. Where we're going to stop is right there. So we're going to go up and down, like that. So we've done the first step of the body. Now we're just going to level it up a bit more by um, adding the features and rubbing out the circles. So let's just do that. Pause it. So now I've done the, I've just rubbed out the circles. Um, this is what it's looked like so far. Um, now I'm just rubbing out the front circle. So it's looking like this. So then we're going to attach go up like and round 
attach it like this but without the circle then we're doing the same with this with this one we're going to go down and up like that so it's like leaning forward then we're just going to go down. I haven't erased the pause lines yet because the pause lines are going to look realistic and it's going to be a bit more harder. Then we're just going to start attaching the paw and maybe doing it a bit more darker. So now I've done the, um, just as you can see, this is a bit darker than the rest of it because I've just shaded it a bit. We're going to do the, the rest of the body and I'm just going to guide you through to look realistic. You can go out of the lines because it doesn't matter because we we're not doing the real step yet. And then that's when we're going to rub out all the unnecessary lines. Right there. So you can see now, we've just done the base of the dog. Now I'm just going to rub out the um, circles of the paws. I've um, done the circles, I've rubbed out the circles. And now it's time for the fun part. We're going to do the nose, eyes and ears. So, we're just going to do a circle like that. I know you all know how to do a nose. And then, we're going, we're going to leave a little blank dot there. Just to look a bit realistica. Then, the eye. The eye's not going to be like shiny, it's going to be closed a bit. Like this one, it's going to be closed a bit. So, we're going to start with a round curve like that. We're going to go another curve underneath it like that. Just a circle basically. Then inside it we're just going to do like that. Just a little circle like that. So you can see it's quite looking down to the ground. Or you can just colour it all in so it just looks like that. Then the ear. The, we have to do a little circle here for the ear. So now, as you can see, I've just done the um, circle of the ear. Of, I've also done a, um, a round flick and back down for the ear shape. Now, carefully, I'm just going to rub out the circle inside. And draw an inside triangle inside, like that. Then, this bit is the last bit of our dog, and then we can colour it. If you have a black pen, take it out. We're going to underline it black. Let's start with the ear. We're just going to go like that. It, does, it doesn't matter if... Um, you go out of the pencil lines because that's where we're doing it smoothly. So, I've done all of it now. And then, now I'm going to rub out the rest of the pencil lines that are just right in here. And down there. So now... You, we've done the basic structure of a dog. So, then we are going to colour it now. You don't have to colour it if you don't want to. You can leave it like that or maybe draw some sun or flowers or details. So, the colours you will need is pink, grey, brown 
and brown, um, light brown. So, um, it, it says it's a black hairless. We're going to do a brown one with a bit of grey. So, are you ready to do the colouring? Yeah, so now we're just going to use the pink and lightly shade it in the little pyramid there in the then we're going to take our light brown to shade over the ear like that like then we're taking the grey I am just going to do the grey on the front um, of the head. So I've I've done a bit, bit of light brown to mix it. So you can see I've mixed a bit of the brown with the grey on top and it's going to get lighter as we carry on down. Okay, we've done that. Now, we're going to use the dark brown just to shade a little under. This is where it turns brownish. We're going to go down to these pores. And then we're just going to go up a bit and then down. We're going to colour the whole um, whole body um, dark brown just really lightly though. So, now we're going to take the grey and just shade in the dark brown. Then, finally, we're just going to do, just at the bottom of these back legs, at the hind leg, we're just going to do a light brown shade. Like this. And maybe do it all along if you want to, to make the dark brown stand later a bit, because this dog can't be as light. So we're just going to make it a tiny bit darker, but light at the same time, because we want it to be like light. You can, now we've finished our dog. Maybe you could ask grass, you can add grass or sun or some flowers, daisies, butterflies, anything you would like. I hope you enjoyed this art lesson. Um, so I'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.